oh my god i'm in a shed it's it's a, a day of big changes for me not only am i now in a shed i've also headset free still got the stubble but i've had a haircut i picked a good day to have a haircut so i'm headset free thanks to this beast this lovely white won't be white for very long once my kids get their hands on it um snowball ice mic so hopefully i'll be less painful on the ears today so this is what we're doing today so um normally i feature blogs on this uh, today I read a really good post by Helen Pritchard, who is the unofficial queen of LinkedIn. If LinkedIn had a queen, Helen Pritchard would be the queen of LinkedIn, but by on merit and popular demand. So a couple of days ago, Helen made a post about, um, well, she made this on uh, this post on Facebook about the fact that you, if you want something, you've got to make the sacrifice. You've got to want it. You've got to do the work. And I love that kind of thing. So. Uh, really struck a chord with me. So I thought for that day, I'd use it as my exercise for adding gags to stuff. I should precursor this by telling you that um, I tend to do these kind of creative things first thing in the morning. So this is when I get up, it's about half seven, eight o'clock. I've done most of the kids stuff, but I'm just kind of waiting for the time before I, I leg it to school. So there's a lot going on. I normally give myself about 10 or 15 minutes to do this. So I'm saying this now, <laughs> like the way you used to do at school when you used to say before an exam, I've not revised very much. I don't think I'll do very well. I'm just lowering, lowering your expectations for this. But Helen's given me permission to, um, I just shared this with Helen and she said I could uh, make a video about it. So I am. So this is the post that Helen made and my one is on the right that I added stuff to. Like I said, it's just a quick 10 minute thing. And again, I always say this, um, it's just an example of how I would add gags to various things. So there aren't enough hours in the day. This is one of the most common problems that I hear from people who are trying to build their business. And again, I've just really taken a common problem and then looked for a potential for a gag opportunity there. So I've added a few more in there. So it's up there with learning how to spell they, na, chuck, and working out whether they should boast about their morning workout at 8.03 or 8.04, something that everybody wants to do. So I, I don't like the fact in hindsight, I've put working out there and work out there. So I might change that one to morning run at 8.03 or 8.04. Um, da, 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 da. And Helen mentioned here that the single mom's with tons of responsibility making it happen, which is true. And I thought, well, if you're going to use a specific example of people who, are make it, who have the same amount of hours as you in a day, um, mention a few. So you, me, Bill Oddy, that single mom looking after her two kids and working two jobs. We all have 24 hours in a day. It's not easy and I don't pretend it is, but if you want it, uh, so if you want it bad enough, you'll make the sacrifices. And I thought this was a really good opportunity to add in a particular sacrifice. And a, a good way to do that is, is with a quotation. So in this case, I thought, but you don't understand. I'm up to season 15 of Grey's Anatomy and shut up, which is probably a bit too much attitude for a social media post. Um, but like I always say, better to throw far too much in and then have to take stuff out rather than the other way around. So you have to stop doing the things that aren't working or aren't important. First things first, look at where the money comes in. So Helen has the thing here that I thought was good. Is spending two hours faffing around with the look of your email or website really that, that productive. And I've taken that because I love the word faffing. Um, and in fact, I've taken it out of here can't believe that. I've never knowingly deleted a faff before. That might be a first. And I've just got really specific. So rather than just mentioning email or website, I've said, you know, broken it down to choosing between Arial and Arimo for the fine print on the footer bar of your site. Really that productive? Take a long, hard look at what you're doing with your time. Um, and she mentions about, look at the apps on your phone uh, how many hours have you spent on Facebook this week? And all I've really done there is just added something in, thinking about looking at the apps on the phone. We all know Facebook isn't a great, it's a great time sapper. But I thought I'd take it a little bit further. So look at the use of the apps on your phone. Wow, you're up to the final level of Angry Birds. That's brilliant. Make sure you open with that when you do your Dragon's Den pitch. They will love you. So just something really sarcastic. Taking taking something like a time sapping device like your phone and just exaggerating it completely. Um, 
and again so so Helen asked the question how many hours have you spent on Facebook this week and I thought a different way of saying that is here's a question how many hours have you spent on Facebook this week here's a better question how many hours have you spent on Facebook this week doing something productive or valuable or creative because you can actually be quite creative on Facebook if you've got a Facebook group or you get a lot of leads that way Facebook isn't automatically just a, a non-event time so you know you can be useful on Facebook um, she's put let's be honest most of what we uh, would have been doing is pointless scrolling which is absolutely true and we've all been there um, so oh sorry before that how many hours have you spent doing something productive I don't know just watching a cat being scared by a cucumber cat is productive no it is bloody funny though and if you've not seen the cats and cucumber video on YouTube oh my God, it's good fun. Mind you, I do have a, a rather unhealthy level of hatred for cats. So again, it just um, interjects something a bit different that breaks up the flow of the thing. Uh, you put something in quotation marks, it makes it, people can't help but read it in a different voice. So it adds different kind of layers to the blog. So we've got, no, it is bloody funny though. Uh, let's be honest, most of what we would have been doing is pointless scrolling and that's absolutely true and I thought well you know why not picture that as like um, a drooling zombie gif or pic or you could even put in things like um, let's be honest most of the time spent on Facebook would have been minor scrolling oh look Sandra has posted a picture of her dog again oh look there's James with another passive-aggressive status oh look there's my nan trying to speak to somebody specifically in a status rather than using messenger um, we all know people like that. Uh, so we have another time stopping thing here. What about that Netflix binge? What could you have done in your business in that time? I think we've all been there. Um, and again, I just got really specific. So I'll admit that being able to recognize any of the cast of Stranger Things from just their eyebrows is an amazing talent. And believe me, you'll be the first I call if my pub quiz team ever needs a new member. But is that really helping your business? <laughs> Is that really going to be on top of your CV? And then again, I'll help you out with that one. The answer is just no. So it's just another way of saying that a Netflix binge isn't very helpful for your business. Um, and again, what could you have been? Uh, what could you have done in your business in the time you spent gulping at various supraorbital ridges? Thank you, Google, of actors in various TV sci-fi shows. Just recalling the previous bit and saying and again getting specific about what could you have done in the time you spent gazing at people's eyebrows and memorizing eyebrows sounds like a challenge for the old tv show you bet um and then she just comes to the final point which is great and this is the thing i really love about this if you want it you can have it but you have to want it bad enough to make the sacrifices find a way to do it or me and my children starve that's perspective and like i've said on the previous videos when you make a real you know you don't have to had, add humor to everything and a lot of the times, even though comedy is born out of truth, and a lot of the reasons we really enjoy watching comedy is the fact that we can relate to it so much. This is the whole point of observational comedy. Even though that is true, when you get to a real point, when you get to the real crux of the article, that if you want it, you can have it, but you have to want it enough to make the sacrifices, you know, that just stands on its own. That's the thing you want people to take. So all I've really done is break this over a couple of lines because I think each part of the, if you want it bad enough you to, um, if you want it bad enough to make the sacrifices, you need to do it. That's worthy of a line of each, for each point. So if you want it, you can have it, but you have to want it bad enough to make the sacrifices. And I just think that stresses the point more. So my way of thinking, find a way to do it or me and my children starve. Not going to add a joke to that because it really hits an emotional level with people, and that's perspective. So it's a great article. If you, I was going to say, if you want any advice about LinkedIn, go to Helen, but um, she writes so much more than that, so much more great advice about stuff. She is the queen of LinkedIn, um, but if you want any kind of business advice, she's the latest to follow. So this was just me mucking around with her social media post for 10 minutes. Um, she did give me permission to post it in the group and post it on YouTube. So if I ever become that YouTube millionaire that I want to be, you know, I'll, I'll probably owe her a fiver. But uh, that's how you do it for that. I hope you found it useful. If you've got a blog post that you'd like me to look at from my shed, 
with my new mic, um, let me know. I'm more than happy to have a look at various stuff. I should say like, share and subscribe because I've checked my bank balance. I'm not a YouTube millionaire yet. So I can't afford the, lot, uh, the yacht that I've had my eye on. And I also can't afford that big sandwich that I've also had my eye on. So l l let's make this happen, people. I need a new shed. Don't do it for me. Do it. You should probably have something there, really. Do it for somebody else. I should bring my child in. Uh, but yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to send me a message on YouTube or via the group or um, anything like that if you want me to feature anything on future videos. Now, I should really come up with an outro, but instead I'm just going to look awkwardly at the webcam while I fumble around for the end recording button. <laughs>